This video will show you three ways you can use the brush destructor blade. As a smasher blade, as a knife blade, and as a chisel blade. We will start by showing you how you can use it as a smasher blade. This clip shows the brush destructor being used as a smasher blade. I have no idea what this long stringy grass is called, but it is really tough stuff. I am going to show you the whole clip of clearing these clumps without any breaks to show you that this blunt blade smashed its way through it all without stalling once. As a blunt smasher blade you don't have to be quite so careful with close ground work. It can easily survive the odd impact with rocks and old steel fence posts hidden in the long grass with minimal kickback. However, against woody material, 10mm is about the max it will bash through. The brush destructor blade is basically a star blade and as such it likes to drag long grass around the gear head. It was this grass that brought the Model 10 blade to a halt many times over in the same area of grass shown here. And it was the frustration of dealing with this that led to the development of the anti-fouling blades. This new Model 17 blade with the new anti-fouling blades chews away any grass that tries to wrap around the gear head, shreds it before it has a chance to pull tight and spits it out before it can stall the brush cutter. This grass could be cut a lot more easily with a knife or a chisel blade, but it is very abrasive to sharp teeth. This is because dust from dirt roads settles on the leaves and when you get a light rain, this dust washes down around the base of the grass where it accumulates and dries. Clear this stuff for an hour and you will find that the tips of a sharp cutting edge will be polished round. Even a tungsten carbide blade would be a throwaway after an hour of clearing this stuff. With a smasher blade you can grind this stuff to the ground with almost no wear to the blade. This shows that this blade is blunt. Do it with a sharp chisel blade and you will easily cut right through this sapling. Next is how to use it as a knife blade. First you must sharpen the edge of the blade against a concrete slab. 
but you must only do this at a fast idle. Rubbing against the concrete at a low speed forces the flail blade back about 10 degrees or so. Then when you run the brush cutter at a higher speed for cutting, the blade straighten out. This clip shows how easy it is to cut grass around this tree with the brush cutter running at about half revs. Saving on fuel, vibration and noise. Your ears and your neighbours will appreciate that. Unlike other knife blades, a file will not touch the steel, so it will hold its edge way longer than any other knife blade. You could do this all day and only ever have to stop to refuel. When the edge does dull a bit, just touch it up against some concrete at a fast idle and you're ready to go again. Now let's look at the chisel blade. This blade when kept sharp easily cuts through anything up to 50 mils. and with a double cut to allow for the pivot bolt assembly you can quite easily cut through much thicker trunks. With sharp teeth you can mulch up anything under 10 mils and you can switch from mulching to trimming a 100mm fallen trunk in one smooth motion. Even the big boy mulcher blades cannot do this and you only need a low to medium powered brush cutter to drive this blade. With a brush destructor you will only ever need one blade.